We'll talk about correlations next. So um, the name of this test is a uh, correlation, uh, or more precisely for us, we're going to talk about uh, the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient. Um, but this is the kind of correlation that people usually mean when they say the word correlation. So we're kind of doing the regular uh, correlation uh, next. Right, and a correlation um, just tells us um, the degree of association between two variables. Right, you could say uh, how related two variables are, or how much they co-vary. Right, so a correlation just tells us if um, two variables are associated uh, with one another, if they're related with one another. Right, so uh, you use correlations if you have uh, two variables uh, that are scale. And by that, I mean interval or ratio. You use this particular correlation in that case. Um, and you want to see if they're related. If your two variables aren't interval and ratio, if they're ordinal, for example, then you'll have to use a different kind of correlation coefficient. So an example. Uh, that, uh, that I've done in the past is I wanted to see if my statistics students exam one grades correlated with their exam two grades. Right? So each student had an exam one grade and an exam two grade. Now I wanted to see if the students who did better on exam one did better on exam two. So an example here is um, do exam one and exam two grades uh, correlate. And now, I want to talk a little bit more about when to use it, because these two variables have to be set up in a certain way. Um, they need a certain data structure. And the kind of data structure they need is the same kind that was used for a paired samples t-test. So here you're going to have your participant, variable 1, exam 1, and variable 2, exam 2. right? And so uh, student A, let's say they got an 80. Uh, on exam one and a 90 on exam two. Uh, student B got a, a 70 and a 75. A student B or student C got a 90 and a 92. Um, so we'll see just with a simple example is there association. So the person who got the lowest on exam one also got the lowest on exam two. The person who got the highest on exam one got the highest on exam two. So there'd probably be a correlation with this data uh, because exam one and exam two scores are related. Right? And so these two variables have to be set up this way where there's two measures that are associated with one person or something that, where you can connect them. So uh, this is the example, do exam one and exam two grades correlate. And the example null hypothesis for this would be H sub naught colon rho equals zero. So rho, rho is the correlation coefficient r, but for the population. So this null hypothesis says that uh, the correlation uh, between exam one and exam two, there, that there isn't one at the population level. Next, I'd like to talk a little bit about R, the correlation coefficient. So these R values can be from negative one to one, so they range from negative one to one. Um, and r equals zero means that there's no correlation between the two variables, and that's why uh, the null hypothesis 
uh, says that at the population level, the correlation coefficient is zero uh, because no relationship in the population is the boring situation. Right? And as a researcher, we're hoping that there is a correlation uh, between the two variables so we can reject our null hypothesis and uh, determine what that relationship is like in the population level. So the number, right, which can be anyway from negative one, like it could be negative dot, dot five, it can be zero, it can be plus dot two, three, although you wouldn't put the plus there. Uh, it could be dot five all the way up to one. That number is the effect size of the correlation. Um, and Cohen actually has guidelines for this as well to help you interpret them. So a small, medium, and large coefficient is dot one, dot three, and dot five. Uh, so the number, so this is regardless of the sign, you could interpret the effect size based on uh, these guidelines if you don't know how to interpret it otherwise based on your knowledge of the subject matter. And I also want to point out that Cohen's D effect size can be converted into correlation coefficient. So uh, they're mathematically uh, interchangeable. So, um, so they're both pretty useful in that way. So correlation coefficients also have a sign. They're either negative or positive. For positive, you don't put the plus sign there, of course. Um, and these, the sign, that indicates the direction of the relationship between the two variables. So a positive correlation coefficient, and this is a perfect correlation, this is the strongest possible positive correlation. You have variable one, like exam one, variable two, like exam two. We'll say this ranges from zero to 100, as does this. For a, a correlation of one, that means uh, that it's, it's positive. So people who are high on one variable are also high on another, on the other variable. And people who are low on one variable are low on the other. So for a positive correlation, people who are higher on one variable tend to be higher on the other variable as well. And if it's a perfect correlation, you can actually draw a straight line in there. For a negative correlation, you still have two variables. Uh, but here, and I'll draw it with a perfect negative correlation. Here, the way it works is people that are higher on one of the variables are low on the other. So this is one person's score. And that person had almost 100% on variable one, but a very low score on variable two. This person here, this person had a very low score on variable one, something like maybe 10 or five, and a very high score on variable two, almost 100. So for a positive correlation, people who are high on one variable are high on the other, or equivalently, people who are low on one variable are low on the other. And for a negative correlation, people who are high on one variable are low on the other. Or, um, and negative and positive here are not good or bad. Um, a negative correlation isn't a bad one. A positive correlation isn't a good one. Positive and negative just refers to the type of relationship between the two.